Hello and in this IELTS speaking video I'm going to look at the part one topic of sky. How often do you look at the sky? To be perfectly honest that's not something I've ever analysed before. I guess I look at it without realising hundreds of times a day but I probably only consciously look at it when I'm looking at it for a particular reason such as if I'm going on a day out and want to know if it is going to rain or not. So I keep repeating this one to be perfectly honest, try to use it at least once, don't use it in every answer. To analyse something is to kind of study in detail and this honestly I have never thought about how often I look at the sky so I can say I've it's not something I've ever analysed before. I guess instead of using I think all the time without realising, so when you're looking at it but you don't think you're looking at it, you don't realise you're looking at it, um, I probably only consciously look at it. To consciously look at something is to look at it and know you are looking at it. So that's what I mean by consciously looking at it for a particular reason, such as if you're going out. Do you prefer the sky in the morning or the sky at night? Actually, I don't think I have a preference. If it is a bright morning with a clear blue sky, then I love the morning sky. But if it is a clear night with not a cloud in the sky, then the night sky can be a spectacular sight. So there are a lot of IELTS questions, do you prefer? And it's very useful to say things like, I don't think I have a preference, which means there's not one I prefer over the other. And this is the case for me. The sky is not something I'm particularly interested in, so I don't have a preference. So a bright morning with a clear blue sky, but then a clear night with not a cloud in the sky. And so the night sky can be a spectacular this sight. This, if something's spectacular, it's marvellous. It's wonderful. Can you see the moon and stars at night where you live? Well, it depends on what the weather is like. If it is cloudy or overcast, then obviously not. However, if it is a clear night with no clouds, then the moon and stars can be clearly seen. So in this topic, you can see weather comes in quite a lot. So cloudy, clouds in the sky, not a cloud in the sky, overcast, that basically means the sky is full of clouds like the image. So very useful for this topic. A clear night means a night where there are no clouds in the sky. Is there a good place to look at the sky where you live? Not that I'm aware of because it's not something that I've ever been interested in. I guess that the higher up you are then the view of the sky is better and in rural areas it is probably clearer than in industrialised urban areas where the sky is full of smog. Not that I'm aware of means not that I know of. I guess instead of using I think all the time and here you can use some more complex language like rural areas, industrialised urban areas because the sky is often different in each place and in urban industrialised areas or industrial urban areas, the sky is often full of smog. Smog is a word that is a mixture of smoke and fog and it's when smoke from factories, from industrial areas fills the sky. So we call it smog and then it is very difficult to see the sky. Quite a tricky topic this one, not one I particularly like because I'm just not interested in the sky. But hopefully if you focus on vocabulary connected with weather such as overcast, not a cloud in the sky, smog, industrialised urban areas, rural areas, then you have a bit of vocabulary that's useful for this topic. Thanks for watching.